Hey all, welcome on Dave Stack. So this is a new series called Flutter Basic for those who are a very beginner. I mean, who are just starting the Flutter app development. So basically, what happened that I already uploaded a mediocre series who know the basic already. I mean the Flutter. So they can start a blog app development from the scratch where I covered how to develop a whole app from the scratch and how a person can connect a REST API. If you don't know about the REST API, so I will put a link about the REST API development in the description. The REST API is a very important thing for the app developer, I mean the front-end developer. The front-end developer is not only concentrate on a UI part, they also concentrate how to connect with the backend. So for that, the REST API is very important. So this mediocre series called Blog App Development I mean the both front-end and back-end development with help of Flutter, Express.js, Node.js and MongoDB is for the mediocre who are know the basic of the Flutter but who don't know the Flutter I mean who are very new on a Flutter for that I'm now creating a new series called Flutter Basic where I will cover that how a person can install a Flutter uh, SDK on their own system according to their operating system and how they can start with the Flutter app development. I will cover the most of the topic like what is a scaffold, what is the material app and how to do the routing, how to connect the REST API. Those things, those are very important for the Flutter app development. I will cover those things throughout this series. So basically when the Flutter was on a beta mode at that time I started to code with the Flutter. So the experience I have, I will share all those experience with this Flutter basic series. So that's I wanted to say. So this video is for the installation of the Flutter SDK on your own system. And if you are a new, then please subscribe this channel. I started this channel a three month ago, but uh, it's now growing. You can see that right now I have a 487 subscriber. So if you are new on this channel, please subscribe it because it's a full stack development channel where you can learn uh, front end development, back end development and the database management, all those things on a single channel. So please subscribe it and stay updated so you can get benefited from this channel. And uh, for the video related thing, I already uploaded a Flutter model class, which is a REST API thing and you will learn it that what is a REST API on a given link on a description which is very important for the Flutter app developer and uh, the whole series related to the app development from the scratch is already uploaded it's ongoing series I am uploading a video on a week or a day or a two or three days so let's go and install the Flutter in your own system for that uh, I will put this link this is a uh, official documentation of the Flutter team I mean in in a flutter dev where they provided a good documentation that how a person can install the flutter SDK on their respective operating system like a month ago I was using a Linux system so I used this documentation if you click on Linux uh, thing then you will go that how you can install the Fl flutter SDK on a Linux system but right now I am using a Windows system so I will show you I will show you that how you can install the Flutter SDK on a Windows system. And if you want to know that how uh, we can inst install the Flutter SDK on Linux system, please comment it. I will also show you that how you can install the Flutter SDK on a Linux system. So let me go on a Windows. And here, if you drop down, then there is a link called Flutter Window 1.2. That is a stable version of the Flutter SDK with come on a .zip format so basically you have to download it first so if you click it and you have to save it and I already downloaded it so it will go on your download folder so this is a flutter window a stable version and you just have to click on it and extract it after extracting it a new folder will be created on your download folder there inside it we have a flutter and this is a whole thing I mean this is a main thing I mean this is a main folder where the flutter code and all the binaries file are stored 
what you have to do is that you just have to go on a window system and here just create a src file so you have to just new folder and the folder name will be src inside the src file you have to paste the flutter folder which created after the extracting this flutter zip so here inside we have a flutter folder you just have to copy it and paste it inside the src folder so this is the first step to install a flutter on your system then what you have to do is you have to search the env on your search panel so let me search the env so here is we have env so after opening it you just have to go on environment variable and here inside the path just click on edit now what you have to do is you just have to go there inside the flutter there we have a bin folder you just have to copy the whole path okay now after copying the whole path you have to go here and here you have to add this so how you can add it after clicking on edit after this or after clicking a new the new thing will be come here and you have to paste the path which you just copied so i already added it you can see it here that i already added the flutter bin folder on the path so i don't have to add it so after adding a path you just have to click ok here you have to click ok don't forget to click ok ok, okay? then after here also you have to click ok so this is a very important thing because we have to add the flutter sdk path on our environment path variable so we can access the flutter code and all those things with any command line okay so that's the second thing and uh, after it you have to just test it so hit the windows r button and open a cmd here you have to run the flutter doctor so basically what happened that sometime it happened that uh, after installing a flutter you have to restart it i mean you have to restart the whole system because the flutter path is not reflecting on your environment setting so we have to do the restart the uh, whole system so if you stuck and your flutter doctor will not work so just restart the whole system then again try to run the flutter doctor so here i am getting a this kind of result but you will not get this kind of result so result you will get is like this and uh, the thing is that now we have to follow the third step that is the third step of installing a an android studio on your windows system so why we are installing a an android studio on our own system because to develop a flutter app you need a android sdk and when you install the android studio on your system the android sdk will automatically come so it is a good way that you install a android studio on your own system so how you can install the android studio i will put the link of the android studio installation on your description so it will be very easy so after you click on a download android studio there is option called download android studio so basically you have to download it first then after it that you just have to click it then automatically the installation process will be start and your android studio will be downloaded and uh, make sure that you have a good bandwidth with you because the flutter and android studio both will take around 1 to 1.5 gb for the installation after installing the android studio also you need a good bandwidth because after installation of android studio it will download some sdk with with the id so make sure you have a good bandwidth then you have to again check the command line that is flutter doctor now this is a third step now you completed the third step now we have a fourth step so basically people use the android studio as a default id for the flutter app development 
but most of the people recommend a VS Code editor. I mean, I personally uh, recommend the VS Code editor for the Flutter app development because it's smooth and very easy and very look fancy. I mean, it's it's very easy and it's have a great support for the Flutter app development. So just I will put this link also and download this if you don't have a uh, VS Code editor. So please download it and use this as a default editor for the Flutter app development. So it will be a .exe file. Again, you have to click it and after uh, clicking it, the installation process will start. Now let's set up the VS Code editor for the Flutter app development. What you have to do is that after installing a successfully a VS Code, you have a button like this. Just click here and after clicking here, just search the Flutter. There you will get a first link that is official Flutter debug tool. You have to install it because it is very important for the Flutter debugging with the VS Code. And the second package I want to tell you is the awesome Flutter snippet. Why I am telling you the awesome Flutter snippet? Because most of the time the code we want to write is already a hard coded one like we have to create a stateful widget. What is a stateful widget and what is a stateless widget? I will let you know. So it will generate a some hard coded code. I mean a snippet code which will be very helpful for you. So these two package, first one is Flutter and awesome Flutter snippet is very important on a VS Code editor. So that's it. That's what our fourth step. Now the your VS Code and Flutter is installed on your Windows system. It will take some time. You need a good bandwidth. So keep it okay and in the next video we will see that how we can create a flutter app and I will let you know that what is the main dot dot file and how we can start the flutter app development. Thank you all and please subscribe it, like it and comment it if you need any help. And also I provided a social media link on our description so you can reach me out there also. Thank you all. Happy coding. See you on the next video.